Okay, so we're going to find the missing angle or the measurement of the missing angle. Not a really hard thing to do. We just have to use these three theorem and postulate to, <clears throat> to come up with this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the vertical angles theorem, which says that if we have an angle vertical, it has the same measure. We could prove this using supplemental angle theorem, but I'm not going to. Because look, I'm trying to get to this angle right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this triangle here, and then I'm going to use this supplemental angles theorem to figure this out. So I'm going to use supplemental angles theorem right here to figure out this other inside piece because I'm working my way to here so I can get that. So this is what I have. I know that the addition of this angle and this one is going to be 180 degrees. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that 153 degrees, well, 180 minus 153 degrees is the remaining angle here, which is 27 degrees. So this is 27 degrees. So I'm going to get 27 degrees right there. And we know from triangle sum theorem that if we add all three of the angles of any triangle, we're going to get 180 degrees. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get, I'm going to call this angle A, if you don't mind. And I'm going to say that 72 degrees plus 27 degrees plus A degrees is equal to 180. I'm going to add these two together and I'm going to get 99. So 99 plus A degrees equals 180 degrees. And I just move this down just a little bit here. Subtract 99 from both sides. And we get that A degrees is equal to 81 degrees, isn't it? So this is 81 degrees. Again, we're going to go back. So we just use this. We're going to go back and use supplementary angles theorem say, okay, well, we know that the addition of these two angles, the addition of these two angles, this angle plus this one, has got to be 180 degrees. So we're going to get 180 degrees minus 81 degrees is that remaining angle, and that gives us 99 degrees. So we can take this out, and our answer is 99 degrees. All right, so I think that was pretty cool. It's pretty straightforward just have to know some of these postulates and theorems and able to answer that this is the kind of problem that you'll see on the sat you'll see it in your geometry class for sure and believe it or not this is really the kind of problem you'll actually see on the gre also so good luck in good work if you have any questions or comments please let me know um, please subscribe